Here are 10 archaic words that we personally think need to be brought back to life. The first one is bourcoq. The word bourcoq comes from the French word bourcoq, meaning handsome rooster or fine fellow. The first known use of bourcoq was in 1599. Crapulous. To feel ill from overindulgence in food or alcohol. The word comes from the Latin crapulosus, meaning drunken. The next word is dagol. Dagol means to trail through mud or dirt and to bemire. Oh, I like the word bemire as well. Oh, that's another great word, meaning to soil with mire, which was another word for dirt. The first instance of the word dagol was in the 16th century. Glout. No, not gloat. Glout. Glout is an archaic word meaning to scowl or frown. It also means to pout or look sullen. <laughs> it originated in the 15th century. Rabble, noisy or quarrelsome chatter, to bicker loudly about nothing or to argue stubbornly about trivialities. It first became known around 1500. Cockalorum, a self-important little man, a braggart, a person with an overly high opinion of himself. This first came into being in the early 1700s. Elsewither, elsewither means in another direction, towards another place or goal. The direction isn't specific, kind of like elsewhere. It was first recorded before 1000 AD. Niddering. Niddering is an archaic word for a coward. It was first known about 1600. Hagride. This is actually an archaic transitive verb meaning to inflict with worry, dread or fear. It apparently originally referred to a witch's well-known liking for riding brooms, as in they hagrode over to the farmhouse. Later it came to mean anything that weighs heavily on you or causes you emotional pain. The first recording of this word was the mid-1600s. Lickspittle, a contemptible fawning person, a servile flatterer or toady. Essentially, a lickspittle is someone who sucks up to a person in power. This was originally recorded in around 1620 to 1630. Which of these archaic words is your favourite? Why not let us know in the comment section below? You could also let us know if you have a favourite archaic word that you'd like us to feature in an upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like and subscribe to us on YouTube.